It all started when I met Thompson and Thompson at the local market. A little Sunday shopping? Actually, we're here on a case. We've been assigned to catch that pesky pickpocket. Then I saw it. Wow! A beautiful model ship. Would you take $20? How much is that ship? Sorry, sir. I just sold it. How much for the ship? What about 50? I'll raise it to 60. 70? No! I don't want to sell, gentlemen. I couldn't understand what the big fuss was all about. Snowy! Oh, no, it's broken! It seemed this little model was hiding a big secret, but apparently somebody else knew about the secret and was willing to go to any length to unravel its mystery. They had taken the model but missed the real object of their search, the parchment. 4201? The Eagle's Cross. How mysterious. I suspected Mr. Saccharin had stolen my model. Aha! Just as I thought. I've had this model for over ten years. Two identical models. What next? Sir Francis Haddock. He looks exactly like you. Take a closer look at this shell. It's just like the model. I found this chest in my attic last night, and you'll never guess what was in it. Look! Sir Francis Haddock's journal. Yes, and listen to this. Captain Haddock told me the story of his great ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, who sailed His Majesty's ship, the Unicorn. The journal describes one fateful voyage when the Unicorn came face to face with pirates. They were led by the most feared pirate of all time. I am Red Rackham, and I am Sir Francis Haddock. <laughs> While Red Rackham gloated over his treasure, Sir Francis tried to remain calm in the face of death. But he was determined not to go without a fight. The final confrontation was at hand. Prepare to die, Sir Francis. The crew was unaware of the life and death struggle below. It was the end of Red Rackham. May heaven forgive your wicked soul. Years later, Sir Francis wrote a message to his three sons. He left them each a model of the unicorn and said they should move the mast and the truth would be complete. And that's where the journal ends. That's it! Red Rackham's treasure! The maps for Red Rackham's treasure are hidden in the masts! Yo ho ho! And a bottle of rum! Red Rackham's treasure! Here we come! <laughs> Captain, let's go. Blue blistering barnacles, what a grouch. We've got to get to Mr. Sacrets. He's anxious to see if the parchment in his model ship matches the one I found. It could bring us one step closer to the treasure. Thundering typhoons! <clears throat> oh dear. Sorry, young man. I uh, wasn't paying attention. No problem, sir. Good day, gentlemen. Here we are. Help! Help! What is it? What's wrong? Mr. Sacrin's been mur murdered! Help! Murdered? Ten thousand thundering typhoons! Is he? He's still alive. Look. Another unicorn. And the mast is broken. <gasps> Someone stole the parchment. But that means holy thunderous thunderclouds. Someone else is after the treasure. Mm-hmm. Police! No one move! Thompson and Thompson! 
Be advised that anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Ah, oh, here's the victim. To be precise, the victim is here. And where there's a victim, there's usually a culprit. And usually quite close. Aha! What? Why, you miserable earthworms! Sycophantic sea gherkins, black beetles, sea lice! <laughs> Excuse me, would ya? Crab apples! No, Captain! Stop! Ectomorphs! Put them up, ya troglodytes! Captain! Calm yourself, Captain. It was only an experiment. What did you say, you goose cap? Well, uh, 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 you see, uh, Captain, uh, if you really were the culprit, then obviously you'd be worried. Obviously. Therefore, you must be innocent. Quite right. Indeed. No hard feelings. Get out of my sight, you miserable nappy. What? He's gone. Mm. Oh. 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 Can you tell us what happened, Mr. Saccharin? A man came by with some antique engravings. I was examining them when something covered my nose. I don't remember anymore. Chloroform. Oh. Mr. Saccharin, this is very important. Could you describe the man for us? Well, he had black hair and a moustache, and I was sure I'd seen him before. How much for the model? For the model. How much for the model? the model? The man from the market. Yes, yes, it was him. Get some rest, Mr. Saffron. Don't worry, we'll find him. Obviously, that man stole the parchment, detectives. I'll show you mine so you know what to look for. My wallet's gone! Gone? What do you mean, gone? That's my treasure we're talking about! Someone must have stolen it! One can't be too careful with that pickpocket around. Take a tip from us. Try to steal my wallet. Go ahead, try. There you go. Simple but effective. <laughs> An elastic band! Stop this tomfoolery, Tintin. What are we going to do? Our treasure! <laughs> it's gone! Poor Captain Haddock. He seemed quite upset. Indeed. Ah, here's, here's our, our tram. tram. <laughs> oh, what it? Oh! Stop! Thief! No! Oh. Stop! Police! Thanks for finding my wallet, detectives. You're welcome. Or trust nothing, he's missing. You trust right, detective. Yo ho ho! And a bottle of rum! Red Rackham's treasure, here, here we, we come. come! Congratulations, detectives, on solving our case so quickly. Ah, uh, well, not quite. Uh, you see, we caught the thief's coat, but the thief wasn't in it. Hmm. Look, a dry cleaner's tag. So, if we find the dry cleaners, we'll have our thief. <sighs> Easy, Snowy. Captain Haddock, that's him, the man from the market. Why, that no good. Wait! Let's see what he wants. Mr. Tintin, my name is Barnaby. I must talk with you. But we're not safe here. Let's go inside. After you.
Sparrows? What's taking the captain so long? Mr. Tintin? First floor. And where are the police? Need any help? Captain? Captain, I... Oh, I thought... Delivery for Mr. Tintin. Delivery for me? But I didn't order anything. This is the address we have. But surely there must be a mistake. Would you mind if I check that order form? Hey! <laughs> got myself into now. Just great. There's got to be something I can do. get my hands on him. It works! Yahoo! <laughs> wow, look at this. I think I just discovered a hidden storage room. Stop, or I'll shoot! He's getting away! Come on! We'll get him. There's no way out. That suit of armor moved.
Another unicorn. Mr. M and G Bird. Birds. Sparrows. Now it makes sense. Hello? Captain, it's and me. And who are you? Tintin, where are you? What's going on? Uh, me? I'm Tintin. Uh, Mr. Bird's new secretary. Oh, sorry, Mr. Tintin. Mister, there's a thief in the house. Don't let him contact his accomplices. Captain, I'm at Marlin Spike Hall. I need your help. Oof! Marlin Spike Hall! Urgh. Oh. Captain, are you there? Nestor! Oh, my head. Where's Tintin? Tin? There he is! <laughs> well, Mr. Tin Tin, we've wasted enough time. Let's go. Good boy, Snowy. You saved my life. Tin Tin? Blister and barnacles. By those two scurvy landlubbers, I'll have them flayed. I'll skin them alive. I'll... Captain, Captain, I'm fine. Thanks to Snowy. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm innocent. He's the guilty party. Tell it to the judge, you jellyfish swine. It's okay, Captain. He's telling the truth. He thinks his employers are legitimate. In that case, we're here to inform you that you're under arrest. Mr. Barnaby survived your shooting and has given us a complete statement. Barnaby's alive? Shut up! It's a trick! I assure you it's not a trick, sir. What are we gonna do, Max? We're gonna shut up! Why don't you tell us the truth? The judge will take it under consideration and you might get a lighter sentence. It all started when we found a model of the unicorn. Shut up! No, you shut up! And then you found the hidden parchment. Yes. We realized it was part of a treasure map, but we needed the other two parts. And that's why we hired Barnaby. To find the other ships. Mine and Mr. Saccharin's. We told him to steal the parchments, but then he said he was going to tell you unless we paid him more money. So you shot him, you miserable earthworm. I'm not sure I understand. Why did you kidnap me if Barnaby had the parchments? Because I stole the parchments from him and you stole them from me. Now give me my wallet back, Tin Tin. But I didn't steal your wallet. The pickpocket! Oh, we can help you with that. You can? We've tracked down the pickpocket. Mr. Silk, you're under arrest for pickpocketing and thievery. Me? A thief? Aristide Silk? How can you substantiate such an accusation, sirs? We tracked you down through your dry cleaners. There's no point in denying it. But I assure you, gentlemen, my intentions are honorable. I appeal to you as a retired official who upholds the law. Eureka! I found the wallets and the parchments. Let me show you to the door, gentlemen. <laughs> well, obviously you made a mistake, Thompson. No! Obviously you made a mistake, Thompson. Mr. Silk made the mistake, gentlemen. He has an unusual hobby. Ask him to show you his wallet collection.
for tis from the light that light will dawn. It's, it's latitude and longitude. 10,000 typhoons! It's where the unicorns sank! This means we're gonna be rich! Yo ho ho and a bottle, bottle of rum! Red Rockham's treasure, here we come! Yeah!